It's time for the residential real estate market update for Thurston, Mason, Lewis, and Grace Harbors counties here in the state of Washington. And uh, we still have some uh, interesting trends going on. Uh, buyers, uh, you should be uh, getting a little more excited. Sellers, uh, you might be able to squeeze a little more out of your uh, properties. But, um, but there's really uh, not a lot... Uh, uh, the trends really aren't uh, in your favor right now. So let's take a look at what's uh, what, what's going on. So the median sales prices uh, are uh, not <clears throat> are down a little bit in Thurston County and just up a little bit in Mason and Lewis. Uh, Grace Harbor had a little bit of a bump uh, November from November to November, as we see uh, three thirty here, and then back last November. Uh, 300,000. So it's kind of uh, getting some uh, support at the $300,000 level. Um, Lewis and Grace Harbor counties are kind of holding on at the $400,000 level. And uh, Thurston is uh, losing steam. It was kind of holding at the $500,000 level, but now is starting to drop uh, significantly below that. So looking at uh, what's going on, besides our seasonal trends, uh, we're looking at year-over-year year changes, uh, which uh, are pretty significant uh, <clears throat> going forward. So new listings, uh, you know, of course they drop year-to-year, uh, year, but look at, they're down uh, pretty high percentage-wise. Uh, Thurston at 34%, Mason 26%, Lewis 29%. And Grace Harbor, 28%. So that's the new listings are down. So sellers are, are uh, holding back and uh, saying, that nah, now's not the time for me to list my house. I want to wait and see uh, if things are going to change if uh, and where the prices are headed. But look, if we look at homes for sale, those are up quite a bit. Look at this, 140% uh, in uh, Thurston County. And so... Uh, what this is telling us is that the homes are not selling as quickly as they used to. And so we look at the days on market and we see large percentage increases uh, on the days on market. And so 20 days here at uh, Thurston was hanging on at about, you know, two to three days for a long time. And then look at here, Lewis uh, shot up to 38 days. So, uh, homes are sitting on the market. Now, this is actually more of a normal uh, market condition, uh, you know, and as we look into the uh, the month's supply, uh, you know, we, we expect, you know, three to five months of inventory to be a kind of a balance between the sellers and the buyers. So, even though it's, it's gone up quite a bit, it's actually just more uh, reaching uh, normalization. Um, <clears throat> it's reaching uh, more of, of a normal market condition. Uh, pending sales, as we would expect, uh, is down quite a bit, which is why the uh, days on market is up so much. And then um, the month's supply, you can see again the month supply and the day supply uh, going up together here. Uh, a pretty significant percentage increases, but uh, where we would uh, like to see them in terms of a balanced market with, with the buyers and the sellers. One of my favorite indicators that I like uh, to check is the percentage of original price. Uh, because as a, a real estate broker, this helps me determine, you know, where I should price a home uh, when I list it or uh, how I should position the buyer's offer uh, based on uh, what the original prices are and where the, where the home prices are going. So <clears throat> we see a, a large decrease in the uh, percent that homes are actually selling for based off the original list price. When we look at uh, Thurston County, just back in April, they were going at 5% over uh, the uh, the original list price, and now 
they're going for 97% of the original list price, which means they've lost the 5% and gone down an additional 3% for a total change in 8% of the original list price just since April. And then you can see uh, the other counties are even uh, going for uh, less than that. Now, a little uh, market update uh, here from the uh, National Association of Realtors. Uh, mortgage rates continue to move down. According to Freddie Mac, the rate on 30-year fixed mortgage dropped 6.33%. From 6.59 so uh, you know we did uh, you remember last month we were uh, pushing 7% and it, it was it did go over 7% uh, briefly and now uh, coming back down to um, to under six and a half percent and uh, says here if inflation continues to slow down mortgage rates may stabilize near 6% in 2023 and we did get some news today that inflation was just over 7% down from its, its normal 8% or what it has been around more 8 So that is bringing um, some positive news to the market and uh, possibly uh, will reduce the uh, increases in the interest rates. We'll have to find out about that uh, later this week uh, when the feds meet and, um, and decide what to do about interest rates. So, again, uh, the trends are starting to favor the buyers, but we do have to get the prices down a little bit more and the interest rates down a little bit to, uh, to make them affordable. And we see here it says housing will become more affordable for many buyers if the mortgage rate can get down to the 6% range. And, uh, but the median prices are still, uh, a little bit out of reach for uh, most of the home buyers. Uh, in summary, the uh, there's a lot of speculation. Uh, all we can do is just track the data at this time. Uh, there's no clear direction on interest rates or inflation or um, or exactly you know what the housing affordability is going to be. And so uh, I will just continue to provide the updates. I'll just continue to track it. And when you see that uh, as a buyer, you may be able to, to get in the market when the price and the rates are good. Uh, let's talk. And as a seller, uh, there are other options to uh, get the price you want. Uh, if you don't need uh, all the cash from the sale, you might be able to do some uh, seller financing, get the price you want. Uh, and we can talk about that uh, as a possibility. And then you also don't have to pay all the income tax on the gains uh, that you have. So those, there is uh, some other options uh, in this market. And I'll be uh, uh, talking about that in other uh, videos and in my newsletter. Okay, so uh, have a great rest of the year. And we'll see you in 2023.